Welcome to the presentation about AVL fires capability in the area of high pressure fuel injection and its effects on mixture formation and combustion. My name is David Greif and I'm the product manager for computational fluid dynamics with the main responsibility in the area of multi-phase flow applications. In this area, nozzle flow with cavitation plays an important role. In order to describe the importance of uh, accurate uh, fuel injection, allow me to use this uh, image to describe the phenomena inside the spray hole. So at high pressures, fuel is injected through the nozzle tip and finally through the spray hole into the combustion chamber and due to the high pressure difference, cavitation mass transfer occurs. Due to that, vapor is generated inside the orifice and it'll block part of the outlet area, so-called effective area, uh, into the cylinder. For this reason, not only the amount of discharged fuel is affected, also the targeting is affected, illustrated by the inclination angle of the spray cone, clearly shown in this image. If we take a look at the simulation result of AVL fire, these are the velocity vectors at the outlet of the spray hole. We can see strong time dependence of the discharging liquid, but also very strong variation across the outlet surface. So the conditions at the outlet of the nozzle hole are in our case saved in so-called nozzle files and used as input for subsequent spray and combustion analysis. Previous methodology required separate simulation steps for pilot and main injection events. Our current technology allows for consideration of the closed needle position shown here on the right hand side, which allows us to study also the flow during the closed needle period between sub-injection events. The animation here shows such an example of pilot and main injections where red color represents 100% liquid and the blue color inside the spray hole uh, shows the cavitation areas. We can clearly see pilot and main injection events separated by the closed needle period when the gas from the discharge chamber on the left hand side is entrained into the hole and partly also into the sac. So the conditions at the outlet here are written into the nozzle files at, and used as input for spray and combustion analysis. We will see three different nozzle flow simulation results again differing in the temperature level of the fuel. So we have 303 Kelvin on the left hand side, 353 in the middle and 403 Kelvin on the right hand side. Again we see uh, the volumetric fraction results and the red color uh, shows 100% liquid. The flow is somewhat similar but if you pay attention to the vapor inside the hole we can see that the amount of vapor generated will be slightly different for different temperature levels due to different fluid properties at different temperature levels. So the three nozzle files for the cases shown here on the left hand side are used as input for spraying combustion on the uh, right hand side and we will see how the combustion is actually advanced when the injected fuel is at higher temperature level. So we can clearly see advanced combustion for the warmest uh, fuel case on the bottom compared to the to the other two cases. So not only it is important to account for the details of internal nozzle flow in terms of uh, mass injected uh, into the cylinder, we also can take advantage of that by being more accurate in terms of local temperature distributions inside the cylinder and be able to predict more accurately the emissions. This summarizes the capability of AVL fire in the area of high pressure fuel injection and how it can be used as input for spraying combustion analysis. 
If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me or visit us at www.avl.com.